Well, hey guys, welcome back to the outpost. Um, what we wanted to do is we wanted to talk about, it's that time of the month again, time to mention the giveaways for the month of May and the winners for the month of April. So for the month of May, we have decided to give away a bush buddy on our review channel. You know, spring is here, summer is well on its way. People are going to be getting outside, they're going to be hiking, they're going to be camping, they're going to be having a good time. Or maybe if it's, if it's just even pitching a tent in the backyard if you live in the city. But this bush buddy, I'll tell you what, it's really nice to have. You can actually hike in the national park with these um, where there's undesignated camping sites and actually use these. Otherwise, you have to camp where they actually have a fire ring. You can actually cook on top of it, heat up your water, do whatever you need to do. So we've given one of these away before, and we had some really good reviews on it. And so we decided we were going to give away another one for the month of May on our Outpost Review channel. And for the month of May on the Outpost channel, we are going to give away an Agawa Canyon Boreal 21 saw. I really like mine. I use it quite a bit. And to show this to you, if you've never seen one before, it's very slim. And it's really cool because it packages up to, or it pulls up to almost nothing. Uh, but what you do is you undo this right here open it up put this in there like so push it forward and it locks into place and you've got yourself a nice 21 inch saw now they come in 15s they also come in 24s but i'll tell you what it's really nice to have a small saw like this that folds up that you can actually just slide down into your backpack and be able to take it with you the bush buddy which comes with a nice little also a little grill that goes on top and or if you want to use fuel you can use the little dish that comes with it and it goes it all folds up to a nice little compact and it's got a little case for it right there so like I said for the month of May these are going to be the giveaways for the uh, review channel like I said for the bush buddy and for the outpost channel the Agawa Canyon Boreal 21 saw. Well guys, I'm back home and I've got the computer on and it's all ready. Uh, we're going to turn around here and draw the winners for the month of April. But what I, I have been doing recently is announcing on both channels, uh, both winners, sets of winners. And I guess I realized I had failed to put it in on uh, the review channel on the first video in that month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the comments from uh, the one on the Outpost channel. Our first drawing will be for the review since I forgot that. And then the second um, drawing that we have will be for the Outpost channel. So let's turn around and see who the winner is going to be for the 10 and a quarter inch Lodge uh, Skillet for the month of April. So right here is the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL. And I'm going to insert it right here. And then we are going to get the comments from that video. And then we're going to go down and we're going to start the raffle. So it looks like Josephine Flat, you are the winner for the month of April for the 10 and a quarter inch skillet. And so what we will do is we will just hit and pick another winner. Now this is going to be for the Dutch oven for the from the Outpost channel. Looks like Pauline Leboy, or yeah, Leboy, I think so. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. You are the winner for the Dutch oven for the Outpost channel. So like I said, Josephine Flat and Pauline, I think it's Leboy. Uh, congratulations to both of you ladies for being the winners for the Outpost Review and also the uh, Smoky Mountain Outpost channel. Please contact us by Gmail only. Our Gmail account is SmokyMountainOutpost at gmail.com. Uh, don't Facebook, or Instagram, anything. Contact us by email. Let us know how to get these to you and we'll get them out as soon as possible. So congratulations again to both of you. Let's get back to the video.
Well, hey guys, I just got done putting the lid on this chicken house. Um, it was a bit of a challenge to go around that little dormer that I put up there. And of course the dormer doesn't slant because I didn't want to go to all of that trouble because it's just for aesthetics anyway. Um, but somebody suggested that I call this uh, Wonkyville. Had another suggestion that I would call it the Shire because of all of the wonky twisted buildings that I've chose to build up here. But I tell you, these are a whole lot of fun. So hey guys, got some really exciting news. You know, when we started this channel, we started doing giveaways because my son and I, we decided that we wanted to give back to the people that help support the channel, and that's you. And if it wasn't for you guys, this channel really wouldn't be anywhere. And we are so thankful for all the support and the views that you give us. And we uh, hope that, you know, that it's somewhat entertaining and maybe you learn a few things. You know, I'm certainly not one to be able to teach anybody, but I do know a few tips and maybe you pick up a few tricks along the way. But uh, to get back to what I was saying, the exciting news is that we have decided to not only do our monthly giveaways, but we want to do milestone giveaways too. So we had a chainsaw that was donated to us that the subscriber wants to remain anonymous, but he wanted to give it away once we reached 40,000 subscribers and we're not far away. And we're really pumped about giving that chainsaw away. But what we decided to do was to go ahead and add a second chainsaw with it. So the month that we reach 40,000, we're not only going to give away our regular giveaways on our Smoky Mountain Outpost channel and our Outpost Review channel, but we're also going to give the chainsaw that was donated away plus a second chainsaw. So we'll have a drawing for the first chainsaw, a drawing for the second chainsaw, and then the two drawings for our monthly giveaways. Now our monthly giveaways are continuing on what we decided to do, our next milestone would be 50,000 people. So for every 10,000, we want to give away $150 worth of value. So at 50,000, it will start at $750, and we decided that we're going to give away that value in camping equipment. And then when we reach 60,000, it would be, I think it's 950, and then when we reach 70,000, it'd be 1,050, and so on. Once we get to 100,000, it'd be a $1,500 value giveaway. And right on up to where we are looking forward to, uh, once we reach a million, giving a tractor away. So you guys, be sure and tell all your family, tell all your friends, neighbors, people that you work with, you know, if they're interested in the things that we're doing up here at the Outpost channel, you know, we want you to continue to be a part of the growth of this channel, and that's the reason that we decided to do milestone giveaways. We're always trying to talk and think things over and, and decide how that we can better make uh, this channel uh, more entertaining, and not only that, but to give back to you guys that help support us. So... You know, we're really looking forward to um, growth of the channel, like I said, and including you in those giveaways. And now in different countries, you know, they may have laws on giveaways and certain things, and you would have to check the laws within your country. But, um, you know, we're really looking forward to those that we can do the giveaways. That's what we want to do. So I really am excited about that. I hope that you get excited, too, because, you know, that's it, coming from our heart to be able to give back to you for all of the support that you give us. Anyway, um, the next thing in order is to start working on the pin around this chicken house and um, I got to punch some holes and I think I'm going to have to dig five posts. I'm not going to make it too big because the chickens can also get up underneath which is a good size area. So once I think I'm going to make it about a 15 foot square. So once I get that in there they'll have about uh, 25, 30 feet that they can run and uh, 16 feet in depth. And I am going to put sides on it and the top because I need to make it predator proof. Probably what I'm going to do, I'm going to end up putting a handrail uh, just right in this area right here. So the pin will probably start, it'll go right underneath that window right there and right across the top of that door. Uh, so it may come up about uh, 24 inches on this handrail um, and probably come out to this corner right here. But uh, that's the next thing in order. So I hope you guys are enjoying this little build. It certainly is a lot of fun and we enjoy filming this to bring it to you. I still got another load of wood that I need to go get so I think I'm going to hook up to my trailer and run over there and get that wood real quick and then the next thing is I mentioned that I'm going to start working on the cabin again so I'll alternate working a day on the cabin on the inside trying to finish my bedroom and I'll work a day uh, on the pen up here and because the first of every month one of the local communities around here they have a farmers market 
where I can purchase chickens and things like that. So I'm not so sure that I can get the pen made by the first of this month. So I'm probably about 30 days away from getting some chickens, but that'll give me plenty of time to get that pen built um, and get it, you know, closed in and make it predator proof. So let's go hook up that trailer and we'll go get that load of wood.
I'll tell you what, Smokey is really worn out over there cutting that wood. I threw sticks and he went and chased them and uh, it was just non-stop. We went to the creek several times and he would run back and forth and kind of dive in under the water and he'd come out and he'd take off across that field wanting me to throw sticks again. And uh, anyway, I finally got that trailer rounded over. Probably got more wood than is going to go underneath this woodshed, but I'll offload the other somewhere and I'll get it stacked up and get it covered up. But I don't think that I'm going to be hurting for wood this winter, praise the Lord, because like I said before, it wasn't something that I was looking for, but they needed to cut down the trees. I needed the wood, so God provided. Um, it just takes a little bit of work to go gather it and get it up here, but you know, if you take your time, it's not that big a deal. I kind of, uh, I brought some chicken today and I decided to go ahead and open up a can of pork and beans and just have some chicken and pork and beans. I gave him a great big old ham bone that I made uh, beans, a pot of beans with and uh, he chewed all the meat off of that and then chewed on that bone for a while and then he came up here and drank some water and ate some dog food and he is passed out. So, let me see how this tastes. Mm-hmm. really good you know somebody said that I was pretty good at carpentry work which I don't think I am but I know enough to get by um, but he said that I lack skills being a cook well I guess that depends on which end of the grill that you're on um, as far as my tastes are concerned I just about put Montreal uh, steak seasoning on just about all of my meat to me it makes this chicken pop um, it just tastes so good because uh, it's got a lot of different things in it, you know. But I guess it depends on what you like, you know. Just like some people like melted cheese and I don't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I cook, you know, not by recipe or anything like that. I just cook based on my tastes. And, uh, you know, it tastes pretty good to me.
Well guys, that's about all the time that I've got for today. Um, I've got this whole trailer load full of wood left and I guess what I'm going to do is take it down there in the hollow where I had mentioned building a couple of campsites and stacking it up and getting it covered up so that it will dry out. But um, I tell you what, that really was a blessing to be able to get that much wood. I've got six of those basically six feet high 14 16 feet long and uh, that's going to make a whole lot of wood especially when i mix it with some of the hardwood but guys my son my daughter and i we really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out up here at the cabin with us we hope that everyone has a great afternoon take care we look forward to seeing you back up here again at the outpost next time